Hey, Paul from Makiwatu, here today to talk to you about the Sci-Fi 2.0 from Sailor Designs. Yeah, you're going to notice a few changes if you're coming to this from the original Sci-Fi, if you're coming to this from outer space. Welcome to the future. So some of the changes from the original Sci-Fi, we've actually dropped on the factory dimensions, just dropped an inch down. So it's gone a little bit shorter, more refined. The wide point in this one's just been pushed a little bit forward as well. That's another Kelly Slater specification. Likes that wide point just a little bit forward. This one's moved forward about an inch. And the tail's actually been pulled in a little bit as well and lifted a bit too. Quite a radical departure from a conventional short board. There's a bunch of design elements in here. You could say this is one of the boards where you could bring your school trigonometry set along and get your protractor and your compass out and kind of geek out. Do that if you like. In terms of Sort of wave range, uh, Firewire are calling it three to eight foot, the kind of wave you can surf this in. Seems like quite a big range to me. That three foot will be kind of, want to be quite a steep wave. This thing does need a little bit of wave to get going once it does get going. Woo -hoo! So this one's five, nine, 19 and three eights, coming in at 30 liters. Differences from the original Sci-Fi. Wide point was here and it's just gone forward a little bit, about an inch, just up here. Right about there for that wide point. Take a look at that outline, and you think Tomo has been working a lot with planing hole designs and those kind of straight rails, those parallel kind of outlines that he seems to like. You just see that influence on the Sci-Fi 2.0 with that wide point slightly forward. It's keeping things quite parallel. And just to break that up down here in the tail, we've got that double back tail, and that brings this thing in. Pretty radical design there on the tail. And we're gonna flip this over and have a look and see what's going on underneath. Okay, let's talk business. Tomo has put a lot of continued R&D with Slater through this board and really refined, particularly some of this tail and these contours on the Sci-Fi 2.0. Let's take a look at that tail and see what's going on back here. And it's that double back tail that Tomo uses to give bite. We've got that extra lift that we talked about. It's been pulled in a little bit as well. And we've got that quad inside double concave. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Okay, let's talk about this quad inside single concave, the QISC, the only thing fire like more than a three letter acronym, it's a four letter acronym. Let's see what it does. Basically, Tomo describes this as a single concave through the board, and then there's a quad concave sitting inside that single concave. The rail is almost a little bit tucked under here, and that concave is just providing so much lift. You can see these channels go right out through. You see lining up with this double bat here. So this is just giving you so much bite and responsivity. If you see Slater in particular, but any of the videos up there on the Firewire site, you see this thing in the steepest of pockets. This thing is just so responsive in those ultra critical, kind of almost upside down sections of the wave. And that's all designed from this quad inside single concave that Tomo loves is really into planing holes, kind of really inform his designs. And you can see that beautifully in here through the Sci-Fi 2. Okay, let's talk construction. We're looking at your LFT, your Linear Flex technology. That's this well, replacement of a stringer. It's actually an aerospace composite stringer running through nose to tail. So no wood in the middle of the board. Got that parabolic rail stringer as well. So combining that construction with the design features we've talked about and what we're looking at is a really, really high performance board that is absolutely gonna be electric. It will turn as radical as you want, as tight in the pocket, good size wave range, three up to eight feet. This thing will pretty much go anywhere you wanna put it. On a medium low rails, uh, Tomo pretty much only ever really shaped epoxy, so those rails, you don't want too much foam on them um, because it is a bit more, but hang on a sec, sorry. Oh, that's something Slater. But yeah, really nice and refined all the way through the board. All of those really high performance. Hang on, I'm just gonna get this. Kelly. Yeah, no, I'm working. Yeah. No, no, I don't like chia seeds. No, I don't really like ayahuasca retreats. No, I don't like the surf ranch. Sorry. Let's talk construction, LFT, Linear Flex Technology. And that's this aerospace composite stringer running throughout the board, really controlling that flex. Got the parabolic rail stringers as well. EPS foam. Entropy bio resins. This thing's really, really light and it just feels alive when you surf it. I think you'll agree. Tomo and Kelly have come up with an absolute beauty of a really high performance board here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Akawatu YouTube up there. And get all the fresh reviews as they drop. I'm Paul reminding you once again to enjoy yourselves.
it's later than you think.